everyone. I hope you guys are having a wonderful holidays. I broke out my ugly Christmas sweater today just to wear it. Um, and I'm just so excited to be posting my first ever YouTube video. Um, so my name is Leo Carney. I write, I do art, I do a lot of different creative things. And today I'm going to be posting my 2021 bullet journal setup. I've been bullet journaling for three years and I'm just so excited to break into this um, Commander H. Lee notebook and just set my intentions for 2021. I know that we've had a really, really tough 2020 and I just want to send all of my positive vibes to everyone out there. Um, it's been very rough, but um, I hope that everyone can find some sort of joy in this season. So yeah, I want to just send that out there to the world and I hope you guys are excited for this video. Um, and just like the title says, I was inspired by sewage and water lines. Whatever, creativity, art comes in in its many forms. So um, on to the video. So like I said in the intro, I was mainly inspired by waterways, pipes, um, sewage pipes because of the engineering I had to do at work. Um, and here you can see me watercoloring some um, waterways that I outlined with washi tape. So you want to use washi tape that's pretty strong but you're able to take off later. Um, and I use a lot of washi tape that I wanted to use um, and use up because I have a lot of washi tape you can assume and I needed to finish up a lot of rolls. So once it's dry you can take off the washi tape. Be very 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 careful. I had some mix here and there so you want to make sure that the paint is totally dry and that the um, washi tape is being taken off very carefully when you do this. So I use a peacock green for the watercolor and I wanted to accent it with some gold accents because I just love this color so much and it just reminds me of royalty and just beautiful elegance so um, even though it's inspired by wastewater and pipes I wanted to accent it with this gold um, washi tape that I am using throughout the setup as well and this first section is actually the key section for my 2021 setup so I wanted to make it a little bit different so I made the um, keys actually horizontal so I use an open circle for my open tasks unfilled I use a half filled circle for pending tasks a dash for events a arrow for a move or reschedule task and then a filled circle for completed task for my key. Next I'm applying a sticker from Parity Stickers. I love the shop so much so I decided to make sure that I use the same sticker style throughout the whole setup and you'll see it from here on out that I'm using like a watercolor style kind of sticker and now I'm just inking up and painting all of my waterways. I think the one thing that was so much fun about this specific setup is that I made sure that all of the pages were different from each other so it just gives such interest when you're looking through each of the pages um, and that's just going to make it so much more fun and interesting as I use it throughout. 
I also love how satisfying it was to take off all of the washi tape after the watercolor was dry. It's just so crafty and it makes me so happy to see all of those clean lines. So if you're very much interested in having something more interesting and dynamic but also clean, definitely look into uh, looking into this kind of watercolor style um, and using utilizing washi tape into your bullet journal. Next I'm making a reference page for the spaces on this bullet journal. So this is something I learned from Amanda Rach Lee who learned it from someone else. But in this page I am numbering the horizontal and the vertical spaces. So we have 38 vertical spaces and we have 26 horizontal spaces. So each of those spaces helps me to understand how many spaces I need to create a division. So for example, this if I wanted to divide the page into three, I know that I can divide it into eight different spaces. Um, it just takes a little bit of math and understanding how many spaces are needed for um, dividing the page into three or two or four or whatever you need. Um, so I do that for the horizontal and also the vertical as well as you can see here. So every year I try to choose a theme. 2020's theme was knowing my worth. Um, this year's theme is Little Steps, and I wanted to write a quote specifically to that theme. So the quote is, Great things are done by a series of small things brought together by Van Gogh. For me, it's all about just taking every day step by step and projects step by step. Um, so I wanted to make sure that this year I'm understanding that these projects like YouTube or Twitch or social media or my art will take time and that every small step is contributing to the bigger purpose of me showing my art and showing my thoughts and storytelling. So that's why I wanted to focus on this quote and the theme of little steps. Here I'm outlining my year in review. Um, this is pretty much my calendar for the whole year and what I'm doing is creating boxes um, for each month. So each box is, box is 8 by 17 spaces and each box is going to be a month. So the cool thing about the waterway theme that I'm doing is that I specifically designed it out so that I can use some of the waterways for my titles. So for this waterway, I'm putting Year in Review 2021. Next, I'm putting the name of the months using a 8 size jelly roll pen in the color emerald and then a micron and the size 5 for the um, days of the month. So the next spread is specifically for my goals. I'm going to be focusing on five different goals on this spread. It's going to be my career, my writing, my YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram goals. Um, so right now I'm creating small 
boxes and banners for each of the different goals that I'm going to be looking at. So these banners hang vertically and then I'm going to be filling in the title for each banner later on. So you'll see it all come together towards the end. Right now it's just um, it just looks like floating banners. <laughs> so you can see me drawing the boxes now um, and then it'll just make much more sense once everything's together. Alright, so here you can see the sprite coming together, so there's two bigger boxes on the left side for my career and writing, and I'm using the same Jelly Roll pen from my calendar um, to fill in those titles there. I just love the look of a hanging banner. It's very simple, but it's just very whimsical as well. And then I'm putting in YouTube, Twitch, and Instagram for the other boxes so next I'm working on the spread for my monthly savings and also my budget I pretty much have a set budget uh, maybe if you guys want to go over how I do budgeting in a year um, just let me know in the comments and then I can let you guys know how I do zero-sum budgeting so every dollar is accounted for um, for a specific section. So my different sections is needs, wants, and savings. And then I also have a monthly savings um, spread where I go over every single goal in financial goal for each month and then write down where I'm at. Um, this just makes sure that it tracks down how I'm doing for the month and if I'm hitting those financial goals. And again, I'm utilizing some hanging banners for the titles um, just to keep sh uh, consistency for each of the themes. For the monthly savings goals on the right, I'm just utilizing lines um, to divide out all of the spaces for each month. I just don't want to write and draw 12 different boxes for each month on one page. It just gets a little bit um, frantic and just not clean. So I just utilize a tic-tac-toe version and it works well for me. And these boxes are roughly eight by nine space. So while I'm filling up the monthly savings, on the left side, you can see that I have three small boxes and that's for my needs, wants, and savings. So that's for my budget. And then on the um, left side, you also have this larger box and that's for my financial independence goals or for my budgetary goals in general. So now with the Micron pen, I'm gonna be filling in the goals for each month. So I'm utilizing um, just initials. So E for emergency fund, C for car, B for vacation, G for um, gifts, H for house uh, deposit, and then R for retirement. So those are kind of what I track each month for my financials. In this section, I'm titling it Reading Log. I'm trying to make sure that I read a lot. Uh, I'm generally a big reader, I'm just pretty slow. Um, but this section, I have a reading log for each book, and it's gonna be a little bit more doodly and have um, more of a illustration to it rather than just writing down the books that I just read on a monthly basis. So here on the left side, I'm creating um, shelves 
uh, for each of the books that I'm going to be reading. So these shelves are just going to be hanging shelves and I'm not going to just do too much about it. Um, it's just going to be simple, just micron illustration. And then on the right, I'm going to have like a table that's going to have um, the title of the book, the author, how many stars I give it, and the notes. And you can see me here, I'm drawing the illustration for the books. And if I finish a book in 2021, I'm going to write the title of that book um, in the reading log. So by the end of the year, I'm going to have these shelves all full of the books I read in 2021. So this spread is very similar to my year in review. In fact, it's just the same format. I'm creating 12 different um, boxes and each box is going to be a month. And that's just going to be for my Bujo ideas. So in the spread for each year, I try to track down my ideas for each month. Um, and the themes that I want to do for each month or colors um, so here I'm just going to make monthly boxes and each box is just free for me to brain, draw, uh, brain dump any kind of ideas I have for the Bujo for that month Finally, we have the things to check out spread. So on the left side, I'm going to have three different categories, actually four different categories. Um, it's going to have a list for things I want to check out around the area in SoCal. Given that we are going to be in a post pandemic world, we'll see. Um, I'll have a restaurant section, a movies or podcast section and the large um, section or category is going to be for books because of course I just buy a lot of books and read them so that needs to be a bigger box for um, the categories and then on the right side I'm going to have two larger categories and that's just going to be a wish list um, so the wish list is similar to my financial goals it's going to it's going to have a list of things I want to um get this year and it's gonna be mostly things that is gonna be for um for my art so if i'm gonna get a wacom drawing tablet this year i need to make sure that i track that or if i'm gonna get a new webcam this year i also need to track that um and then the last section is gonna be just inspiration which isn't really something to check out it's just in general inspiration for my art um, and it's going to be a brain dump section in that last um, vertical column right there. And now for the flip through of my 2021 setup. This was really fun, you guys. I was a little apprehensive with utilizing watercolor in this notebook, but it really worked out. And the clean lines and the beautiful gold accents just makes it all the better. And I'm so, so excited for 2021. I know we still have a lot to get through. Um, with the pandemic and everything but we're gonna get through it and I'm so excited for new projects and um, new intentions this year and just new art projects and all so let me know how you guys like the video this is my first video and I would love to get any feedback or if you guys want to see um, specific videos in the future about bullet journaling let me know please and with that check me out on stylus and pen on instagram twitch and here on youtube